Hello, welcome to another Hotswan 4 mod spotlight or quick look or whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is a shorter video <clears throat> because I usually make, you know, longer videos about mod overhauls and such, but I saw this one mod uh, in the trending workshop, which I thought I need to make a video on because it's quite a significant um, problem that I hadn't really considered with the vanilla game that this mod kind of fixes, uh, at least for some people. So. The mod is the colorblindness overall, or the colorblindness mod, I believe it's called. Yeah, it's straight up just called the colorblindness mod. And what it does is it sort of alleviates the problems that a lot of people who have deuteranopia, uh, that is red-green colorblindness, would face playing this game. Because a lot of the game uses uh, green and red next to, next to each other to illustrate, like, you know, progress or uh, who's winning and such uh, st stuff like that. And... Uh, that represents a massive problem because that's exactly what people with, you know, red-green colorblindness have trouble distinguishing between. So what this mod essentially does, which this mod, by the way, is made by someone called uh, Gookskriat on uh, Steam, um, and you can find the mod in the description, and it was a continuation of a 1.6 version of Hot Hot uh, mod made by someone called Partario. Uh, I don't know the history beyond that, but uh, what this mod essentially does is it's kind of like uh, accentuates the colors a bit so that they are a le lot easier to uh, distinguish even if you have red green color blindness supposedly now i don't have that so i don't really see it however the response and the comments on the mod are very positive and the mod has gotten very great uh, ratings so essentially what it does is it changes stuff like this for example a uh, force comparison here to have a more uh, bright green color, it changes stuff like... I believe it changes uh, this stuff as well, the colors here, to be a bit more orangey in their hue. So they're easier to distinguish against the background. It changes the um, uh, orange and red here of str uh, strength and organization to be brighter and more distinguishable. And... It changes the uh, same meters uh, in uh, battles and stuff, as well as, I believe, uh, in, let's see, no nothing changes over here, but I believe in, um, yes, in production as well. Uh, the greens are given a way more bright and vibrant color, which is meant to make it easier to, uh, to you know, actually see the bar and to tell it apart from others, other um, aspects of the UI. So. I'm playing on the 1939 Blitzkrieg time state, uh, time um, stamp, and I'm going to declare war on Poland so we can see some of this stuff. France is probably going to join in and start kicking my ass on the uh, eastern front or western front, but that's probably fine. I'm going to unpause, and now we see these greens are still the same, but usually they are sort of far be uh, far apart from the others, and I don't know if that necessarily like makes them easier to. Do Teleport. Hopefully they do. I believe I don't know if this uh, this green has also been changed. It kind of looks a bit more vibrant, but I don't think it has. Let's see. Oh my bad. It's not in uh, this. It's in uh, it's in the air war and stuff like that. In this stuff, I think has been changed so that it's more vibrant. But if you do let's see, actually we'll, we can look here. Yeah, this color. These colors have been made far more vibrant and far more accentuated because they are normally just red next to green. So if we assign all these guys and give them missions, you now see the red and green here, right next to each other, in a way that makes them kind of hard to uh, distinguish. I believe actually, no, it has been uh, more accentuated on the air map here as well. But that's basically it. That's that's what the mod does. It uh, straight up just does what it says on the tin. It helps people with the uh, deuteronomia, and that is awesome. And I think the game kind of needs this feature by default. Uh, there are places where it changes stuff from red uh, green to red blue and stuff like that. But I'm not exactly sure where that is in the um, uh, the interface. Maybe on the uh, naval battle stuff. We can't really show that right now because we're playing as Germany and the navy here kind of sucks. But yeah, the like this should be a base feature in the game uh, for not just uh, red-green colorblindness, but most of the common types of colorblindness, because those um, options are becoming more and more standard in video games nowadays, and I believe Hot 4 should not be any different, especially in a game like Hot 4 where so much of it relies on various 
aspects of the UI that you have to read. Like, there's so much information that you have to take in, and that can become incredibly tedious, I imagine, for someone who constantly has to, like, you know, look closer and second-guess themselves because they can't really tell the colors apart. So again, awesome mod. I strongly recommend you check it out if you have Deuteronomia or any sort of colorblindness that sort of makes these colors hard to distinguish. If you don't, I still think the mod does serve a purpose in that it sort of accentuates the colors and make them more, makes them more vibrant and more distinguishable just at a glance. And that is about it. So, uh, with that, I want to say thank you for watching the video. You can find the mod in the description down below, as well as any relevant information that you might want uh, regarding me and, you know, the stuff I do, my Twitch, my Twitter, my Patreon, and all that stuff. Uh, the community Discord can also be found in the description down below. And that is about it. Thank you again so much for watching. Let's, uh, let's make Heart 4 a little bit more inclusive. Goodbye.